One of the important uh, features of optimal EFT in the unseen therapist is we've taken the entire healing field and the billions of dollars that have been spent on diagnostic equipment, remedies, pills, drugs, surgeries, hospitals, and the like, with all these various remedies for these various diseases and ailments that we've created, and we reduced it down into one simple thing, and that is there is one remedy for everything. Now that's very, very hard to digest because after all, um, we see on television and, and, and in our discussions with our, our doctors and our, the books we read and friends and everything else, we, we all recognize that, my goodness, uh, um, uh, rheumatoid arthritis is obviously different than cancer, okay? And both of those are different from gout, uh, and so on it goes. There's thousands of, uh, I mean, there's, there's a book which has a list of, of all these ailments that people have, and it just goes on. I mean, it's a big old thick book, and it goes on and on and on and on and on and on with labels for all these various ailments. And interestingly enough, if you've got this particular ailment, ah, now we have, you know, a remedy for it. This remedy is for this ailment, okay? We may even have three remedies for this ailment. Um, uh, for depression, for example, we have Zoloft, we have Prozac and other drugs that are aimed at the one ailment. Isn't it nice to get the idea that we can, in one sense, throw all that away? And I, by the way, I can now hear the medical profession you know, screaming, don't throw all that away. We've just spent so much time putting all of it together, okay? But I'm saying with the unseen therapist, if you learn how to communicate with her well, there is only one ailment and there's only one remedy. The ailment involved has to do with uh, our erroneous um, assumption that we are all separate from each other. You know, our, our pristine scientists, the quantum physicists now, have proven to us, and we've known this for decades, that this whole idea about everything being separate is an illusion, despite how obvious it seems to our senses. Everything is, of course, very, there are millions of separate things. In my car alone, there's several thousand little parts, little screws and wires, and they're all separate from each other, but no, 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 no. In reality, everything is connected, and that's been known for decades, but we have been ignoring it, okay? And it's because we, think our, we erroneously believe that we are separate that all of our ailments occur. If we understood, truly understood, that we were all one, just as I described in my spiritual experience, if we all got to that point, then there would be no ailments whatsoever. There wouldn't be anything to cure, to fix, to remedy. Uh, the only ailment is that we don't see ourselves as one. We see ourselves as all separate as a result. We have to compete with each other for resources. We compete with each other for love, for relationships, for jobs, for money, you know, etc. And as a result of that, while we get along with some people very nicely, ah, in one sense, the world is out to get us because sooner or later we're going to die after all of this, you know. <laughs> and we're probably going to have some pain and disease along the way. But if we get back to this one fundamental thing that we are all one, ah, the rest of it vanishes. Just as I talked about my spiritual experience with the somebody popped the bubble and the world vanished from my awareness and in came the higher reality of source, God, creator. Um, once we get to that point, the rest of it just vanishes. It's not necessary anymore. Now, the question arises, well, we're not there yet, Gary. So what do we do? Okay, well, I'm not saying by this, don't you know, go to the medical profession or don't go to any other man-made technique and so on. What I am saying is, ah, here we have the ultimate solution. We have the ultimate resolution for all of this. It's a matter of 
shifting our awareness from the world of separation and all of its conflict and issues and ailments as well, more towards oneness. In doing that, we climb what I metaphorically call a stairway to miracles, where at the top of it is ultimate enlightenment, okay? uh, the oneness, if you will. Now, while we may or may not get there, as long as we are climbing towards that direction, we're trying to approach it, we are going to get far beyond the lower levels that we are currently. <laughs>